Welcome back to part two of the new Light Elegance Summer Collection, Dreaming in Colour. In today's video, I am going to share with you my colour comparisons of the new summer collection with existing shades within both the hard gel line and also the P Plus Soak Off gel polish as well. If you haven't seen the first part of this video yet where I reveal the colours in both the hard gel and P Plus formula, I will leave that linked in the top corner and also in the description box. I'm going to get straight into the comparisons. First up for comparison is Fuchsia Fantasy Hard Colour Gel. First up, I thought I would just show you Fuchsia Fantasy next to our most recent like pink releases. So um, this one here is Little Philly from the Spring Buttercream collection. You can see Little Philly is much lighter. It does have a slight shimmer through it. These two would look really, really nice paired together within a set. This one is Smooch from the Winter Buttercreams. This one you can see is deeper than Fuchsia Fantasy. This doesn't have quite so much of a like glittery shimmer. It has a slight kind of frosted shimmer through it. Um, again, these two would look really nice together. <laughs> and then from the Winter Color Gel collection, we have Hot head you can see this one is a lot deeper and it's a bit more plummy purple than fuchsia fantasy next i wanted to compare it to existing color gels within the line so we have sassy squatch pinky swear pop lock and drop and heart shaped box i would say out of all of these that sassy squatch is the nearest However, Sassy Squatch is more of a like a metallic lilac-y reflect running through it, whereas Fuchsia Fantasy is definitely more of that kind of glittery, silvery sparkle. And then from the Buttercream range, we have Language of Love, Beautiful and Bold and Playful Pink. Um, out of these, probably Language of Love is the most similar, but Language of Love is definitely more of a purpley pink. Um, fuchsia Fantasy is definitely more of that true kind of fuchsia shade, and Language of Love doesn't have the shimmer running through either. And now I will compare Fuchsia Fantasy P Plus with the other P Plus colours. Here we have Fuchsia Fantasy on the right, and then from the left we have Smitten, True Love, and Sunday Best. These are all the P Plus gel polish colours, and as you can see, Fuchsia Fantasy um, is not anything alike the three existing kind of brighter pinks that we have within the P Plus range. So this is going to be a really welcome addition to those of you that have the P Plus range and want that nice fuchsia pink for the summer. Next for comparison is Power Nap Hard Gel Colour. Firstly I wanted to compare it with Chaps and Spurs from the Spring Buttercream Collection which is just here on the left. On the right here we have Power Nap. Uh, Chaps and Spurs actually makes Power Nap look quite nude whereas when I look at it initially to me it looks very kind of pinky so um, definitely not as pinky mauve as Chaps and Spurs. So the nearest colour gels in the existing line I have picked out here. So we have Strawberries and Cream, which is much pinker and also has a shimmer. We have Dreamsicle, which is much brighter. Hoppity Scotch, they are very, very similar, but Hoppity Scotch has got a like a frosted shimmer running through it whereas power nap is a complete cream finish do the watootsie is much peachier and show me the honey is much pinker then for the buttercreams we have a lot of light pinks in the buttercreams um, and of course the one that i really wanted to compare this to is pink 
tutu which is this one here and you can see pink tutu is a little more peachy beige and a little bit deeper whereas power nap is definitely more on the pinky side and it's also i would say like a shade lighter so if you want something similar to pink tutu but you don't want it as like peachy you want something a little bit more uh pinky nude then power nap you are going to really enjoy i then have butterflies which is much pinker the cat's meow which is much pinker and also more pastel prickly pink is way way lighter something borrowed is more of a blue toned pink i've also included here pastel pink gel paint but you can see they are not anything alike and then i do which is again much pinker and it also has a shimmer running through so for the p plus um comparisons i've picked out all of the kind of lighter pinks and the nudie pinks so from the left we have two straws one shake which is much pinker and has a frost running through it we have a mother's memories which is much more nude and darker hidden secrets which is much darker heirlooms which is i would say it's like one shade darker than power nap and then we have pink pumps which i would say pink pumps has got more white in it and it's a little bit more peachy up next is counting coral sheep so first up i did want to compare this one to the most recent releases because we have had a coral in both the spring color gel and buttercream collections um so on the very very left here we have sunrise roundup which is from the buttercream collection and um, this one has a quite a high shimmer running through it so doesn't really compare and it's a little bit more orange than counting coral sheep and let's get together again is a little bit more orange than counting coral sheep i uh, hope you can see this on the camera because um, i'm going to sound like a broken record but i always find corals are quite tricky to show up truly on camera but i think you can see the difference so I have quite a few to compare from the existing colour gel line. I'm going to do my best to describe these because corals are notoriously difficult uh, to show up true on the camera. So we have Don't Be Such a Pansy. These look super similar on the camera. They are not similar. Don't Be Such a Pansy is much more of a neon. Um, Get Your Freak On is much more orange. Miss Independent is like a shade lighter than Counting on Coral Sheep. Let's Pollinate, which I mentioned in the first video, uh, the first part of this collection, um, is it's darker than Counting Coral Sheep and it's more red, I would say. Then we have French Bikini, which is brighter and has a shimmer. Come Home Gnome is more of a pinky red coral. Hunks and Trunks, please ignore the state of my tip. Uh, this one is a lot more red and Charming Cherry is more of an orangey red. And not as many to compare here in the buttercreams. So we have here Sassy Lassie, which you can see is darker and more reddy. Eye Melt For You is more orangey and again, a little bit darker. Sahara Sunset actually looks very similar on the camera, but Sahara Sunset is super neon. Uh, so Counting Coral Sheep is not as neon bright as Sahara Sunset. Then Short Skirt Fleur Fleur is much pinker and Tailgater is much more orange and a lighter neon shade. And then moving on to the P Plus version of Counting Coral Sheep. So we do not have any exclusive shades in the P plus range um, that are coral. So um, here on the right is Counting Coral Sheet and then we have um, Let's Get Together from the Spring Collection and Short Skirt Flirt Flirt. So I know I've already shown these in the hard gel comparison, uh, but these are the only two coral shades currently in the P plus line. So I did want to show you them compared to the new one. Next up for comparison is Dream On. 
Firstly, comparing with the most recent collection. So we have Delightful Day on the left and Little Philly on the right. These are both, again, from the spring collections. Uh, but you can see that Dream On is much more of that lilac-y pink. So looking at the colour gels, we really don't have anything like this colour. So the pinks that I could find that were nearest were Two Straws, One Shake, Leading Lady, Skip to My Lulu, Double Scoop, and Pop Rock in Pink. But as you can see, they're not really anything alike. I guess tone-wise, it's probably nearest to Two Straws, One Shake. And again, these two would look really nice together in a set. But we don't have anything with this kind of lilac-y tone. So I'm just going to have a look at the purples and see if there is anything within that side of the colours. And no, everything in the kind of lilac-y range is proper, you know, purple. And you can really see that Dream On looking a lot more pink next to the uh, lilac-y shades. So um, yeah, something very different, very unique. Uh, we definitely don't have anything like this shade at the moment. And then for those of you interested in the buttercream comparisons, again, nothing alike this one. Uh, we have prickly pink something oh something borrowed which again tone wise is is nice together sweet cream pastel pink gel paint and i do moving on to the p plus comparison for dream on so in the p plus range um of course we have delightful day from the spring collection uh, but again way more pink and then we have a couple of exclusive P plus shades. We have Sunday Best on the left, Thank You Note on the right. But again, you can see we don't have anything similar to Dream On. Next hard gel colour comparison is Night Terror Teal. Firstly, to compare with the most recent additions to the ranges, we have Lucky Horseshoe in the middle, which was from the Spring Buttercream collection. Uh, this one is much lighter, it's a lot more blue as well. And then we have Just a Little Selfish, which is from the Winter Colour Gel collection, but you can see that this one is much darker. So comparing with existing greens in the line, we have Jump Up and Jade on the left. This is a lot more green and actually, although I said in my first video, I didn't feel that there was any blue in this new uh, Night Terror teal, you can see that it is pulling a little bit more blue when we compare it to something that is so green. And I did wonder if this would happen, I mentioned in my first video. Uh, we then have Made of Money, which is kind of a bluey green, but it's much darker and it's got that shimmer. I'd like to thank the Academy is like a darker, much, much darker version of this new colour. Sugar Rush is, I would say it's like a, a few shades lighter than Night Terror Teal. So if you loved Sugar Rush, um, you will probably love Night Terror Teal. And then You Have Me at Aloe is way, way lighter. And if you watch my first video on this collection, you will uh, likely remember that I mentioned an old colour that I felt like this reminded me of, which is Pedal Pushers, which is just on the left here. Um, Tone-wise, they are very similar. So they do have, they are pretty much a green, just with the slightest hint of blue. They don't, you don't look at the colour and think blue. You definitely look at the colour and think green. But like I showed you, when you compare it to a true green, you do see that slight like bluey undertone uh, but the new night terror teal is much lighter so not really a comparison for pedal pushers but if you did like pedal pushers color gel you will most likely love night terror teal okay so i have a mixture here of buttercreams and gel paints for this next part of the comparison so on the left here we have cactus bloom i think these are coming off much more similar on camera Cactus Bloom is much lighter and it's much more of a true green. It doesn't have that blue hint to it. Then we have Neon Green, which you can see is much more neon and much more of a like a grassy green than a bluey tone. We then have Primary Green Gel Paint, which is much darker. Cleopatra Buttercream, 
which these two are actually are really nice together. They both have that light bluey undertone, but obviously Cleopatra is much darker. And then grade A is the opposite, similar tones, but much lighter. Um, and again, these would look, actually these three together would look beautiful. And then the P Plus Night Terror Teal, I don't really have anything to compare this to. The only current green that we have is the pastel version uh, under the shade tree from memory, I think it is called, from the spring collection, which is obviously a really pale pastel green. Um, so a very welcome addition to the P Plus. Um, more greens, please. <laughs> Our last hard gel colour for comparison is Sandman Tan. Firstly comparing with more recent additions, so here on the left we have Sexy and Suede from the Spring Buttercreams. You can see it's got more of like a like a clay undertone to it. <laughs> it's not as beige is what I'm trying to say as Sand Man Tan, but they look really nice together. If your clients love the neutrals, these would look absolutely lush in a set together. And then here, this one is much darker. This is Peck on the Neck from the Winter Buttercreams. Uh, but again, I actually think all three of these would look very nice <laughs> in a set together. So firstly, comparing Sam Mantan to the rest of the color gel range, uh, we have a lot of gelato here, which is much paler. Cream No Sugar, which is paler. Nude with Attitude, which is like my number one <laughs> uh, color gel, nude gel. Um, nude with Attitude is much lighter. So um, in my first video, I did mention Sandman Tan. It's more of a tan nude. So to me, this is good for those with dark skin tones that want a, like a light nude color. Um, Delicious is more caramel. Um, whereas Sam Mantan is more of a neutral nude. Do the Mocha Poker actually looks super dark next to this one and it's a lot more brown. And then Seriously Shy is more of a pinky peach tone and Easy Breezy, the tones on these are quite similar. Easy Breezy is darker and a little bit more warm, but again, I think these two would look really nice paired together. And then comparing with the buttercream range, we have Wanna Be My Tarzan, which is more of an ivory shade. Under the shade tree, which again is more ivory, it's just got that shimmer running through as well. At the altar is a little bit more gray. Other Perfection is more beige, I would say. Then we have Sure Thing, which is probably the nearest to Sandman Tan. So if you like Sure Thing and you want a color gel version, then Sandman Tan is gonna be your nearest. I would say that Sure Thing is just ever so slightly darker than Sandman Tan. Then Mantra Mauve is darker and more of that mauve shade. My Pretty is lighter and again has more of a grey undertone. And then Your Churn is more of like a greyy mauve. And then the last of the coloured P Plus, uh, again comparisons for Sandman Tan. Okay, hopefully you can see that. This is feeling very difficult to hold, <laughs> all of these. So on the very right here, we have Sand Man Tan. And we do have quite a few shades in the P Plus of these neutral nudie colors that we don't have in color gels. So um, Nude with Attitude, obviously we do have in color gel. Um, so we've already compared those, um, like I say, Sand Man Tan is just that little bit darker. We then have Traditions, which is a little bit more grey. Afternoon Tea is more of a warm nude. A Mother's Memories is more peachy. Hidden Secrets is more of that kind of rosy mauve. Then we have um, Heirlooms, which I would say it's lighter than San Mantan. And again, it has that kind of greyy mauvey undertone and then pink pumps which is definitely way more pink so i would say your nearest comparison here is going to be like nude with attitude and traditions um, but if you are looking for a more of a 
a darker nude that's more neutral. Traditions is darker, but it has that grayness to it. Then um, Sam Mantan is going to fit really nicely into your collection. First up for comparison is Tangerine Dream. Uh, with the glitter gels, I'm going to compare both together because we don't have any glitter gels that are going to be included in this that are not available in the hard gel as well as the P+. Plus. Um, there are some that are only available in hard gel, but all of the ones available in P+, Plus are also in the hard gel. So I'll just point out which ones are available in P+, Plus also. Uh, but yeah, for the glitters, I'm gonna do this combined. So with Tangerine Dream, I do want to compare this to a few different kind of categories of glitter gels. So I'm gonna start with the more orangey peachy glitter gels and then i'm going to move into more of the yellowy goldy more iridescent versions uh, because there was a few glitters that i thought might be similar that i wanted to compare for you so um firstly with the more orangey ones we have here is be in your bonnet which is sheerer and has a slight more pinkness to it it also doesn't have the different size pieces um, of tangerine dream we have Peachy, which of course is more peachy. Tipsy Two Step, which um, I think there's possibly flecks that are similar in here, but of course Tipsy Two Step has more coverage. Uh, nice Melons is way more orange, and then Mango Crush is more of that coral. There is actually a glitter gel that is available in P Plus also, um, which is called Orange Crush, and I don't actually have that glitter gel, so I can't compare that one for you, unfortunately. Be In Your Bonnet is available in P Plus, so you can see the differences there. I had a couple of requests to compare Tangerine Dream to the yellow glitters in the line, so um, here on the left we have Woody and on the right we have Lemon Burst, but you can see uh, they are nothing alike. Tangerine Dream definitely has more of that orange golden fleck running through it and it's much sheerer than the yellows. And then lastly for Tangerine Dream, I wanted to just compare it to more of these iridescent transparent glitters. So when I first opened Tangerine Dream, my first thought was of Swing by Sweden, which is this one just here. You can see, hopefully if I move these, you can hopefully see there's definitely some flecks in there that are similar. But Swing by Sweden is much sheerer. It doesn't have as much pigment as Tangerine Dream, which has more of that golden orange um, kind of tint to it. And then we have Fairy Good, Ice Cream You Scream and Rolling in Glitter, which you can see these two are far more silver. Fairy Good has more of that iridescent, uh, you know, like pinky green reflect to it. And just to mention as well that Swing by Sweden is available in P+, so that is our uh, comparison within that lot of glitter gels. Next up for comparison is Pinch Me Pink. So I have turned the exposure down a little bit on these ones because this new one, Pinch Me Pink, with the matte neon pieces, it I'm getting a lot of glare from it when I turn the exposure up. So this is gonna look a little bit darker than True to Life, but it just allows you to see the differences a little bit more easily than with the exposure turned up. So the first one that I really wanted to compare this to is Fruit Snacks. As soon as I opened this, I just it took me back to Fruit Snacks. Um, so I'm just, I'm getting in quite close as well. Um, they are actually a different tone so i do think that there are really small matte pieces in fruit snacks but they are quite uh what's the word they're definitely more of a blue tone pink and they're quite spread out the fruit snacks is definitely more sparkly it's got more of those glittery chunks through it whereas pinch me pink i would say it's a little bit it is more of a true like neon pink it doesn't have that bloom tone that fruit snacks does and the glitter through it is very different it's much finer much more sparse um, and the glitter actually sparkles more of a pink whereas in fruit snacks the glitter is reflecting more kind of goldy 
So I hope that kind of helps. I think it maybe is a little bit tricky to see on the camera. Um, someone mentioned Pinch Me Pink being like the bright pink version of Mochi Please, um, which is another matte glitter just with the most subtle sparkle through it. And it is, it is along that line. And then the only other kind of two brighter pinks that I thought I could compare it with was Waffle Cone and a peony for your thoughts and you can see they're nothing alike so i did think it was going to be basically the same as fruit snacks but actually upon looking at it they are very different and to be honest i do not have anything to compare it to in the p plus range the next glitter gel i'd like to compare is deja blue so for this comparison we don't have any p plus um there aren't any P plus glitters that are anything alike this so this will be a very welcome addition um, so comparing with some of our existing hard gels on the left here we have Mala blue which you can hopefully see is a lot more blue uh, second in is siren song which again is a lot more blue and has a lot more coverage to it then we have snow cone which is it's more of a fine iridescence whereas obviously uh, deja blue has more of the chunky pieces and the different colors reflecting all the way through it then we have say it ain't cilantro this one i wanted to compare because it does have those different size pieces but you can see it's a lot more green and then play day is much more green if you like the kind of turquoisey bluey green colors you'll really enjoy this because it's not as blue as the turquoisey colors that we have already and it's not as green as this kind of spectrum so it definitely fills a gap for those of us like me that like the turquoisey bluey greens I am now going to compare Restful Rose. I'm sure lots of you are keen to see comparisons for this because it is the ever popular rosy gold. So first of all, I wanted to check this next to the spring release. Um, so we had You Bring the Wine, which is on the left here, and Sweet Tea on the right. Sweet Tea is of course a lot more pink. And you bring the wine, there's definitely some tonal um, similarities, but you bring the wine has um, more of a sheerer uh, finish. So you can apply this over so many different colors. It looks absolutely amazing over the top of other shades. Um, and of course it has those larger chunks as well. So I have a few different comparisons for Restful Rose. All of these are hard gels. So the only P plus that is similar is You Bring the Wine, which was part of the spring collection that I just showed you. So um, this really fills a gap for P plus because it means that you have a really good full coverage rose gold glitter. The other glitter gel that it really made me think of was salmon glitter gel, but I cannot find that. I think I must have used it up. It was extremely popular, so I think from memory we finished it, and for whatever reason I didn't replace it. So I normally keep the color pops as well, so I actually have the stick of the glitter gel so that I can compare it with new colors, but I can't seem to find that either. So, um, if any of you have salmon glitter gel, I'd love to know what you think. I do think that salmon was more pink. So uh, from memory, uh, for those of you that have salmon gel, salmon gel is more pink and this definitely is more rosy. Um, I hope that maybe is helpful. So uh, on the left here, I have French press, which was kind of our original rosy gold before the true rose golds came out. You can see that this is way more gold. Uh, Thunderstruck is a bit more of a coppery tone. Indian Summer is more of a bronzy coppery color. Betty Davis, I would call that our true rose gold and you can see that Restful Rose is a little bit pinkier than that. We then have Cheers from Down Under which is a combination of gold and rose gold pieces. And then I also wanted to add in here, Shake Your Salt Shaker, which was from the Autumn collection last year, but you can see that this is pinker. And I think 
this is kind of more the tone of salmon salmon i would say sits somewhere in between shake your salt shaker and restful rose so if you want something that's not as pink as shake your salt shaker um, or this kind of has silvery flex and salmon doesn't so something in between that and restful rose then salmon kind of fits in between there considering we have quite a lot of rose gold tones this is actually very different because it is more of that rosy uh, our next comparison is sleepy time so we don't really have anything that is super similar to sleepy time uh, and we don't have anything in the p plus range for sure but I did just want to compare it to a couple of coconuts. This is probably the nearest and there isn't anything else uh, that even comes similar. Uh, hopefully it's picking up on the camera, but a couple of coconuts is more of an ivory with a silver glitter. Whereas Sleepy Time is more of a beigey, peachy base with golden glitter. And like I say, Sleepy time is going to be, I would say, a must have if you have those clients that love the nudes and the neutrals with just a little hint of a golden sparkle because you're going to be able to paint this over so many of your nude shades. It's going to look totally different depending on what you put underneath and just tone everything in together. And then last but definitely not least for comparison is In My Happy Place. Firstly, from the spring collection, I just wanted to show you pears and pastries and a spot by the stream. Um, these aren't anything alike. I just thought I would show you because this one was the more purpley tone from the spring collection and this one had the different size chunks and some of the reflex in there are similar to Fairy Good, but you can see nothing alike each other at all. We don't have anything else in the P plus range that is this kind of color. So another welcome addition to the P plus range. And then within the hard gel glitters, I have picked out the nearest to these. So we have Mochi Please, which is that matte glitter with super subtle sparkle that I was mentioning. Um, this one is much more lilac. We then have Shave Ice, which is more full coverage and more of those metallic glitters, if you understand what I mean. So they reflect more silver, whereas In My Happy Place has got more of these like iridescent sheer glitters. We then have Twinkle Toes, which I would say is the most comparable. Um, color wise, they are very similar, but in my happy place has way more of those like super iridescent um, pieces you can see just through moving there that in my happy place is way more intense with the way that it reflects and sparkles uh, and then the last two are sour grapes and wipeout which you can see they're a lot more intense in color so there you have it the end of part two uh, my colour comparisons for the new Light Elegant Summer Collection Dreaming in Colour. I'd love to know if you found this useful and also let me know what you think of this type of video style for the new collections, dividing it into two videos but combining the hard gel colours and the P+. Plus. Um, did you like it? Do you prefer the normal way of doing it? um do you like the p plus and the hard gel separate if you're new here please subscribe i would love to have you join us again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye